the downtown farmers market everyone knows about it heavily populated one of the best not just in the state but in the country it's more than just fruit and vegetables though there's a lot of handmade goods as well now you can also find talented artists under some of those tents out there lining court avenue and that includes ashley mccabe this is her with us today. She's behind McCabe Artistry, which focuses on handmade jewelry and decor as well. Ashley, thank you so much for joining us early in the morning. And uh, people have come familiar with seeing you out there at the farmer's market. But how did you get into this love of uh, making jewelry? Um, so I'm a, actually an art teacher. And when I was getting my master's in painting, I was starting to get bored of painting. Mm -hmm. So I started using polymer clay to create jewelry. Wow. And from then it just kind of took off and now I have my own business where I make and sell jewelry. Yeah, so it kind of just started out of uh, a hobby outside yep. of what you were doing and going to school for, and now it's turned into a business. Mm -hmm. um, where can people find your specific location if they are going to the farmer's market tomorrow? Um, tomorrow specifically, I'm on Court Avenue near the river, okay. but usually you can find me on the south side of 4th Street near Hy-Vee. Yeah, so when people go to the market, they, they go to that by the river tomorrow and to, at your booth, what can they kind of expect to find on display if they're looking for anything in particular? Um, so I usually have um, the same two collections of white and black with different um, uh, types of metals like gold and silver in it. Um, but I then always make a like limited edition each mm -hmm. week of earrings. And so I have a new collection out every week. Wow, so each week people can find something brand new because you make it specific mm -hmm. for that week. Um, can you give us a hint a little bit? What, what's uh, the exclusive this week? Um, this week it's called Vintage Bloom. So it's like a black collection with um, flowers on top of okay. it. So a really like classic design. Wow, that's beautiful. Now, what do you, I guess, have an inspiration? What do you kind of use as inspiration to really mold your work or come out with your designs? Um, so a lot of my stuff is inspired by nature. So I look at nature a lot, look at different flowers. Um, and then sometimes it's just random, just comes to me and I just start making it. Yeah, that's incredible. Um, and how long have you been at the, at the farmer's market uh, providing you know, some of your work? So this will be my like second year kind of. Uh, last year I did their incubator program, oh, yes. which is now their Spark DSM mm -hmm. program, which allows minority owned businesses to get a chance to do the market. And so after that, I did a half season last year, and then this is my first full season where I'm there every week. Yeah, what has it been like for you as a you know entrepreneur, businesswoman, uh, taking that leap? I know it's scary for a lot of people out there, but you have such a talent and uh, you, you weren't too scared to put yourself out there. It's really just about making connections with people. So I really like to go there to just to talk to my customers. And a lot of times, like a lot of my um, limited edition collections are inspired off like things that they say, like I've done a lemon one recently. Mm -hmm. um, and they're like, I really like lemons. Can you do something with lemons? Wow. And so that's what's inspired me a lot. Yeah. I was looking at your at your website. My wife loves jewelry, and mm -hmm. uh, as a lot of people do, her, she loves gold. And you you make these marble, mm -hmm. black and white marble with with gold accents and and with different accents. Uh, are some of that inspired by people requesting you know items like you said, like the lemons, and yeah. and then they turn into something you can always have. Yeah. So um, I only started making gold at first because I. I prefer gold but then a lot of people are like oh I like silver over mm -hmm. gold and especially my mom loves silver so um, I make I try to make everything with um, one or the other type of metal just for everybody yeah so someone can find something yeah and so for those that maybe are busy so many events going on this weekend and every weekend they may not be able to get to the farmers market where can they find you online or or in West Des Moines um, so I also do the Valley Junction farmers market excellent um, but then you can also find me on my website which is just mccabeartistry.com all right. Well, looking forward to this weekend, and uh, you have wonderful artwork. I'm sure you have no problem uh, you know, get, getting rid of some of those awesome uh, pieces that you have. And again, you can find her at the Farmer's Market. You can go out there at uh, Court Avenue from 7 a.m. until noon. You'll see Ashley McCabe and a host of other you know, people selling goods from produce to fine art and, and uh, craftsmakers. But a lot of fun. Weather should be great.